Hey guys, it's Miss Spiegel again, and I'm checking in on day two of our NTI days. I hope everyone is doing well, and hopefully you're already pretty far into your second day of work by now. We're running a little bit behind in my house. Yesterday, we were on top of it. We got up. By the time I got up, my fifth grader had almost all of her work done because she was so excited to get into it. Today, I have two little extra helpers, a pre-K and a first grader, and they are changing up my schedule a little bit. So I feel for all you mamas that have multiple um, grade levels that you're keeping up with, keep it up. If death, there's no timetable, take breaks during your day. Um, add in your own touch with with the breaks and, and things that you're doing. Do things that you like to do as a family. And if you see people getting stressed, say time out. Let's take a stretch break. YouTube has tons of different options. And on my Google Classroom, I sent out some class fit videos, which are really fun. And one of our favorites in our house is Cosmic Yoga on YouTube, which you do yoga to a story. It's like goofy, it's silly, um, but it's fun to do and it breaks up your day. We're also working on our own kindness campaign because, well, everybody needs a little bit of kindness and it's a difficult time, especially with people being in their houses. So yesterday we went out and we put some notes in people's mailboxes we maintained our social distancing. We didn't meet anybody, talk to anybody. We just wrote them a nice note. Today, and this is an easy project for anybody to do, we're going to make our own puzzles with special notes hidden inside them. So just something simple, piece of paper and colored pencils. And I, we did a, a Rubik's um, I Love You. And on the back, we're going to draw in our puzzle pieces. And then we'll simply take our scissors and cut those puzzle pieces out along the lines that we've already drawn. That makes sure that they're all going to fit together again. And then once we do that, we'll put them in an envelope, put a name on it, and we're going to share that with somebody else that we haven't already sent something to. Also, write a quick note. Put a stamp on it, put it in the mail. Who doesn't love to get mail that's personalized, um, especially these days when everything's digital? So there's just little ways that you can touch base with the people around you, cheer them up. Doesn't cost a lot of money, if any at all. It's probably stuff you already have around your house. And it'll, it'll cheer people up. It'll give you a break during your day also. For my class, I would like to see what you're working on and what you're doing and i would love to see a place that is your spot where you're doing your work take a picture if it's okay with your family and post your special work spot to our google classroom whether you're in miss english's class or mine and you can upload it and i'll upload a picture of where i'm doing my work which you see the the back behind me and um we'll get to see where each other are now one more thing we are working on having a google meet and that's basically just a big conference call and for your google meet you can go to the little waffle on your google screen and when you click on it google meet is going to be in the corner if you click on that it'll take you to a page that is um it just says google meet do you have a, a code I'm going to send you that code in our Google Classroom and on Remind. And at 7 p.m. tonight, you're going to put that code in if it's okay with your family. And we're going to just have a quick meet, check in on each other. You haven't seen each other for a while. We've all been in our houses. Um, get to chat with our friends and catch up a little bit um, and just have fun seeing each other's faces. So, again, 7 p.m. tonight, Google Meet. And I will put the code in our Google Classroom, and I'll send it on a remind. Have a great day.